Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hitman 3, where today we're taking a little break from that island life, because at the end of last week, IO patched a new escalation in the game, and you know how I feel about these escalations. So this one's on Dartmoor, uh, and it is all about killing the Carlisles in ways that appear to be accidental. I don't exactly have a plan here, but as you can see, I've put together a loadout that uh, I'm pretty sure will work for us. We have two different lethal syringes. I'm reasonably sure that if you syringe someone, it counts as an accident kill as long as nobody sees you doing the syringing. Uh, and then I'm having them drop off the micro taser for us as well, so we can maybe engineer an electrocution. I'm not sure how much loose water there is on the map, and obviously this is not a map that has a lot of uh, like water coolers, but you know maybe outside around the fountain, we know Emma goes around over there. Uh, yeah, and so without further ado, let's let's kill all these people, and then we'll we'll get back to the um, to the island thing. You know we gotta save. We can pick it up whenever. Um, I was pretty good about post-launch support. There will probably be at least a few months of, like, new escalations and new targets showing up. I don't necessarily agree with everything about the way they run their games, and particularly the DRM is, I think, like, draconian. But they do a good job of uh, supporting the thing and making sure there's lots and lots of content. So I don't think we're going to bother with this, dude. We're pretty good at navigating this map at this point, thanks to the other escalation. So I think let's just get up there and try to become a security guard or something, right? And like I said, I don't have a plan plan, but I do remember there being an awful lot of chandeliers on this map. So I think that's probably our... My, my first thought is let's drop a lot of chandeliers on people. I don't know for sure that everybody walks under chandeliers, but we'll we'll figure it out. If we have to knock somebody out and drag them under a chandelier, that is a thing we can do. Okay, so there's an open window over here. Is this the way we want to go in? This takes us right outside the... Yeah, this should work. Oh, you know, it might have been a good idea to bring a lockpick. That's certainly a thought. Can't walk around with the ornate saber. Must conceal urge to saber people. Uh, boy, I didn't really... Maybe I should have had a plan? It's weird that there's one person in the room to our right who is not aware that I'm not allowed to be here. Sees the bright red suit and is like, yeah, it's normal. That looks fine. Okay, you're by yourself, and that might end up being your undoing. Free screwdriver. You can never have enough screwdrivers. Or fuses. Or car batteries? Question mark? Alright. <clears throat> I don't know if this is a great plan, but I do know it's the plan I'm using. Oh, interesting. That did not do what I thought it was going to do. But why didn't that throw? Damn it. Get over here. Well, I'm afraid to touch that now. It looks very dangerous. I thought for sure he would hear that and come over here and investigate, though. No? Nothing? Nothing. Come on. Damn it. Well, whatever. Good enough. You know what they always say, clumsiness is next to godliness. Okay. I'm not going to touch that car battery. I think it's cursed. It's the only explanation for the thing that just happened. So... Let's, uh, let's see about those chandeliers, shall we? Gregory, something's off. Prove it got word his motion was rejected. I mean, that looks pretty Someone compelling. Four days ago. Emma's oh, right there. God, hmm. not this again. We need to be upstairs. 
I do not feel safe taking the shot from down here. Anybody could see me. Who is able to see through my disguise? It's the head butler. I'm just, I'm washing the wall. I came up with a brilliant idea, taped a bunch of scrub, a uh, bunch of sponges to my back, and there we go. You know what they always say, work smart, not hard. I can't even pronounce the word smart. That's how, that's how far off I am. Oh, oh, she's going to walk under it. Got her. Did it not get him? No. Okay, well, that's inconvenient. Shit. Okay. Uh, that guard in the hallway is a problem. But we do know that that guard in that hallway is pretty unobserved. We could probably pull him in here and... Now, nah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep this out, outfit for right now. It might be a little bit safer to be a guard, though, because the guards are allowed to have a gun out. Alright, where's this other... The other guy's in this room? And he... He might walk under this, maybe. Yeah, with that other guy, we're going to have to try some poison nonsense. Got to keep that windscreen clean. I just thought of something. I think I lost a button for my cuff yesterday, probably at the graveyard. Can you just pop down and have a look? For a button, sir? That's what I said. Huh. huh. I wonder if that's actually down there. Please, be quick about it, okay? Or if maybe you could, um... Maybe you could talk to him as a member of the help and uh, get him to go down to the graveyard by telling him you found it or something. I mean, he would have expected you to bring it to him, though. Yeah, maybe not. All right, we're going to give this guy a second and see if he uh, see if he walks under this, and then we'll figure out how to deal with the other one. This one's Patrick, right? Easy enough. It looks like an accident. Oh, it's definitely an accident. No two ways about it. Just a huge, hilarious coincidence. Oh, there is a second chandelier in this room. Is he really just... He's really just back to re... You know? These people do not... They do not care about each other very much. They haven't even cleaned the debris off of the table yet. So he does have a guard watching over him. I couldn't just run down there and... Out of curiosity, am I allowed to just throw a syringe at someone? Is that a thing that, that you can do? No, you do not. <laughs> you do not get the throw cursor. Hmm. I don't remember Gregory's deal. Does he patrol? Because, like, there's Patrick. Emma goes to the, to the greenhouse... There's the dude who is playing the piano the whole time. Peter, maybe? But I don't remember this guy, like, at all. This is this is the one who's married to Emma? I mean, who could possibly keep all these rich people straight, right? Alright, we're gonna have a hard time getting downstairs with all of these, uh... All these enforcers wandering around. I haven't had the pleasure. She just clams up when I try to get an explanation. Not even an apology. I mean, <laughs> believing our mother dead is not exactly how I'd like to spend the week. And then she shows up like that. I nearly shat myself. <laughs> I mean, she really topped her usual icy self this time. Well, I don't know why you're so upset. Do you realize how much I've had to deal with because of her sudden death? Huh, of course you don't. You've never done an honest day's work in your life. Obviously, it's all a major cock-up. The first I've ever seen from our perfect mother. Finally, if something amusing happens in this god-awful bore of a family, why not lean back and enjoy the spectacle? You know, it might have been a good idea to remember to bring our... We got one of the two emetic gas things, right? 
This would actually be a really good place for that. As things are now, I'm going to have to draw both of these guards off and then... Or we could just try something crazy. Alright, we're going to try something crazy and if it doesn't work... We're gonna come back. We're gonna we're gonna drop out of this and come back in with a new plan. No. So those don't appear to be accidents, but this is going to. <laughs> what? That's not what I thought was gonna. Oh, interesting. He has a poisonous flower. Um. Oh, also a key to a bedroom. Well, shit. Okay, new plan. This, this is not the way you are supposed to do this. When life gives you lemons, you drop a chandelier on those lemons, right? Because the thing's right above the table. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is exactly the best possible plan. I gotta do this from a position where I'm not gonna get killed. What on earth? SB, come on now. Put the gun away, put the gun away, and just disappear into the night. Flawless victory. I'll just uh, let myself out, thanks. 47, stop looking so sus suspicious. I told Kate about this text. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked Yeah, I thought the way that you killed people with the syringe was you jumped, ran up behind them and you hit the melee button with the syringe equipped. But I, I guess maybe not. Or maybe he uh, maybe he detected me and turned around in the moment. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever it counts, it's fine. Level 1 complete. They'll definitely never figure out what happened. Uh, what with this butler running down the uh, running down the path away from the house shortly after everyone was killed in terrible identical accidents. All right, forty-seven. Enough of that. You do not deserve to look cool after the thing that happened there. It's true. Someone could hurt themselves. We call that a three star. That's an one hundred and fifteen thousand point performance right there. Obviously. Okay, also, more accidents. Undercover starting locations are no longer available. If you change to a disguise other than your suit, you fail. Okay. Well. Let's maybe go ahead and, uh, and change things up. I don't think the taser's a good idea. Let's go... Remote emetic gas device. This is exactly why we unlocked this. And I mean, if we're going to be in our suit the whole mission, is there one that we could put on that feels a little bit more appropriate to what we're doing here? I mean, this definitely fits, but it's getting a little overplayed. I mean, we'll just blend right into the surroundings. It's like, did you ever play Metal Gear Solid 3? It has this really com complicated camo system that's completely invalidated by how overpowered the, uh, the Santa suit is. It's just the best camo in every uh, every possible environment. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madam. Carter. They have a big family meeting, right? Do they all gather together under a chandelier when they do that? Do you, th do you think that would be a good way to? I don't remember how long it takes for that to occur. Oh, the the investigator probably has to talk to her first, right? And she introduces him. Let's um let's go find a find a way up to that part of the house. So it happens in the upstairs area above the room where we grabbed Patrick, right? I guess let's go get our emetic our emetic thing first. Here we go. Seems like a good thing to have. And then, uh... Where does this one go? We should... I should know all this stuff, because we just... When we did the other escalation, we spent so much time crawling all over the house, but... I do not remember.
Well, we're on the right floor, at least. I don't know if I think that this is a great position here. Where? Are, oh, we're here. So, I mean, we could... We can access the other side of the upstairs by going through the secret room. We'd have to drop those guys in there, but that's fine. I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Again, hooray for mastery. So hold on a second. Let's let this guy patrol to his other position. When he's in that spot... Ooh, that's not what I meant. Shit. No, I need it immediately. Okay. Works for me. Do you have anything fun? No. I mean, I'll take your gun. I can't imagine I'm going to use it. I guess it's good to have a non-silenced weapon. So that at the very least, if you really need to, you can make a really loud noise at any moment. Okay, and then this lets us... Oh, wait. No, sorry. Door's over here. There we go. Certainly don't need that. Okay, I mean, I feel pretty good about that. Is this the room where the family meeting happens? Or is it... The Patrick room. I don't remember. Shoot. Well, we'll figure it out. Oh dear God, not this again. So I got hold of the officer. He says it was finalized, but then how can it be withdrawn? Just wait a few days. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. So he really does just sit there the entirety of the map, except for. The part where she invest in introduces the investigator, right? I wish I remembered better where that part was. Like, how long that takes. We should kill that guy. We, yeah, we should clear out some of the upper part of the house while we wait for this to occur. Here, let's drop this guy first. And then we'll uh we'll take out those two afterward. And you know, it's an escalation. I don't I have no compunction about just killing a ton of people here. Hello? Whatever gets the job done. Okay, she's talking to him downstairs. We could hear that. I'm pretty sure that was him saying that thing about priming the suspects. Alright, this gives us a lot better control over this upper space. As does this. Uh, let's close this door real quick. And just... Um, this is a balcony. This is probably a safe place for two bodies, though, right? We know that there's a woman who walks around the uh, upper landing there, and I do not want her to see these bodies. I think this should be pretty safe. Nobody's in a position to see these. Okay. Sure, there's not guns just laying around. Yeah, okay, I grab that. And the stage is set. Hidden desires, buried truths, conflict and intrigue. This will be good. Did we miss it? Did they have the meeting already? Am I misremembering? Am I remembering a scene from Knives Out as part as a thing that happens in the the game? Oh god, I might be. What if that's exactly what's happening here? But, like, Patrick never came out of his corner, right? Hmm. 
Okay. Well, listen, I'm fine engineering five separate accidents. That's a thing that can happen. Yeah, we'll just do this. We'll do this part exactly the way we did it last time. We have the opportunity to use the emetic grenade or the emetic uh, mine. We can we can make stuff happen here. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's going according to some version of someone's plan. Drowning is an accident, right? If you if you make someone sick and they drown in the toilet, I'm pretty sure that's an accident kill. Alright, this is when he yep. See, that is a thing that would be very unsafe to do if we did not have control of this upper hallway. I wonder if we made a little noise down there first and got him to like stand up off the off the couch. I wonder if the chandelier would hit him. Let's see if Emma walks back over there to talk to him again. We have to wait for this little exchange to end, though. And if it doesn't work out, then we could we could do what we did last time, or we could do the emetic mine or whatever. Gregory, don't say more to that weird detective than you need. Okay. I was just having a laugh, dear. Must admit, he's pretty good. Yep, that works. If you get him to stand up first, it works. Cool. Um. So Edward and Rebecca. Edward's the one in the piano room, I think. He should be like real easy to get. He's alone a lot. And I don't remember what Rebecca's patrol path looks like. She's the one who who just walked away before we did this, right? So. Does she go all the way outside? Oh no, she goes down to that um the room with the big windows and the bird cage, right? That might be that might be a tricky one. That's inconvenient. Alright, I'm going. This is potentially gonna get real ugly. Okay, so there is a person in this hallway. I do not remember who this is. It's probably just household staff. Two persons in this hallway. Is she really just going to walk back in there? Despite what just happened? Okay, well... I do not like this. I do not like this position. I do not feel safe here. There's there is nowhere for us to run. I'm trying to there we go. I'm trying desperately to steal soap. I wonder if you could throw soap on the floor and have them trip on it. Listen, basically anything that can happen in a Tom and Jerry cartoon can happen in Hitman. I believe that. I mean, I think she's alone once she goes in here. I wish I felt more sure of that. Shit, 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 shit. Everywhere's unsafe. Everywhere's bad. Okay. So we don't want to go out here because we know that, that one guy is looking in this direction. But using the, uh, using the magic of the Hitman map, we can tell that she is not alone in that room. That's tough, man. I don't know how we're going to deal with that. I mean, if we if we hit her with the gas, she'll probably come in here, right? We could drop her in here. That seems doable. But we would want to be sure that we get her and we don't get the maid. I don't know how we do that exactly. 
Let's try it though. Let's let's see let's see if we can pull this off. The stuff that we did with the other people is like extremely reproducible. I'm not too worried about that at all. So, boy, is there a good place to dispose of? We could we could grab this maid and drag her in here, right? It would give us a pretty safe place from which to execute plans. Okay. Really? Okay, yes, it got her, it got her. She is coming this way. Yep, okay, I'm just gonna... Gonna hide right here. That's terrible. Pretty sure that the drowning counts as an accident. And this right here is why we went to all the effort to get those toys. She just accidentally drowned in the toilet. As you do. Very normal stuff. Yep. Good, good, good. Also, apparently, that was one of the basic kill types that we'd not gotten on this map. Um, we might be down to just fiber wire for the, for that part. Yep, four of five versatile assassin. Okay, good news. Uh, so, the other dude is the dining room dude, and we might be able to get over there without much of a problem, thanks to our control of the upstairs space. Yeah, that emetic mine was everything that I hoped it would be and more. Well, no, not more. It was it was exactly what I... It was everything I hoped it would be and nothing less. There you go. That's something. That counts. Can we get down on this side of the house easily? Oh, shit. Right. That guy. Uh, hold on. We should probably go into Zachary's room and deal with that dude. That's no good. That's no good. Who's this asshole? Oh, right. We don't have whatever it is that allows you to operate the... the secret door from this side. Yeah, shoot. I should figure out what that is. And we, and we should figure out where to get it. Um, Here we go. I will feel much better doing this if we are not visible up there. That works just fine for me. Let's just put you over here in the corner. Okay. So now we're directly above the room. Shoot. Yeah, that's true. I do not have a crowbar. I think I tried that before. Uh, how am I going to get downstairs? We could try to just go around the back of the house. Is there a, like, a pipe? Oh, there's a pipe right here. Okay. This'll work. This shouldn't be a problem. Right? 47. 47. 47. That is definitely not going to work. That's a, that guy right there is a real fucking problem, actually. This is also a real fucking problem. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just gonna... I'm not allowed to just jump down from up here. Which is what I really need to do. Yeah, we've never done a version of this map with the investigator walking around. I am not used to what he does. He might potentially be a problem for us. All right, let me... Let's see about going across on the bottom floor. 
I really thought the top floor was going to be easier, but I forgot about the fact that there's just no way to access that room from upstairs. Okay, she is remarkably oblivious, which I really appreciate. Is this... This is... Okay. Alright. <gasps> Water. That's a place where we can do the thing. If, if it came down to time to do that particular thing. Can I close this door? Yes. Alright, my man's just alone in here, right? Not a hundred percent. But we could get him to walk over toward that area. He wouldn't be visible to this guy. Oh, also that guy just walks away sometimes. Alright, I saw the execute with syringe prompt pop up. On, uh, on what's her name right before we drowned her. I know that it exists. We're gonna yes. get it. Hi, Cassie. It's me. Oh, that that doesn't count as an axe. I thought for sure it did. Okay, so we need to replant that. This is not a real plant. It consumed poison counts as an accident. In injected poison doesn't. Well, now we know. So... I mean, it's probably a good idea to bring a consumed poison, and then what else? I mean, we could try to engineer a uh, an electrocution thing for him, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, we could... I guess I don't really feel like we have another play? Yeah, I don't, I don't have another thing that's going to work as a poison, or it's going to work as an accident, so... All right, all of the kills we got are, like, very reproducible. None of that stuff should be a problem. There's probably a chandelier in that room that he's in there. We could we could just chandelier him. It'd be fine. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmark, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. We should, we should try to shadow... Phineas Whitmer a little bit. I'm kind of curious. I am kind of curious if a, if a meeting actually does take place. Um, so maybe we want to go this way. Stay close to where we know he'll be. Oh, but I do want to go get my... Um, I do want to go get my smuggled item. If you think about it, when you're trying to sneak around, it really doesn't make any sense to dress up as anyone other than Santa. I mean, he's the best at this, right? The absolute best. No two ways about it. Okay, we cannot possibly have missed him, right? And we're not going to be able to actually just, like, follow him inside, but we can, we can stay close enough to hear what she's saying to him and I want to see if there is a if there is a gathering that we missed or something. I mean, we definitely did not miss a big gathering. No big gathering occurred. Cuz Patrick never left that room. I don't know. We'll see. Let's let's follow him. If we could get everybody together and we gas them all with the grenade, I wonder I wonder what would happen. Whether they would all go to separate toilets or whether they would form a nice neat queue. Forty seven, that's a very aggressive position. That's a bit excessive, I think, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, so don't worry about that. They would never let anyone sneak inside the house unseen. Just not going to happen.
Boy, this does take a minute to play out, though, doesn't it? Oh, 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 that's not great. That's not great. Dude's just wandering around, helping himself to the hospitality. I guess he's got, he's got to make it so that you can grab him, right? This, this is a critical part of the Hitman mission. Wandering off by yourself and then staring down at your phone for no reason. Is she broken? Is she not even going to come out and meet him? Is that her... She, oh, right, we don't, sorry, she's not a target on this version of the mission. I cannot see her on the map, actually. Boy, we could drop that thing right on him right now. Uh, maybe. Maybe we get him. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming okay, on here we go. short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. I have yet to see a mystery I haven't solved. And I don't give a toss about my fame, if that's what you're worried about. My lips are sealed. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. You assume too much, Madame Carlyle. The crime scene, if such exists, is never where I begin. Do as you wish. However, I expect a result in a timely fashion. Fernsby will take over from here. I'm Mr. Fernsby of the Butler. I will try to assist you as best I can. Where would you like to start your investigation, sir? Where's the family? I like to prime the suspects a bit. Madam Carlyle's family members are all on this floor. Okay, so it's not a big meeting. We have the ability... I think we have the ability to provoke a big meeting by um, asking for one... I'm going to take this, obviously. Uh, <laughs> by asking for one ourselves. But he doesn't roll that way. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can We can work this out. Here, let's start with this part. Let's just see how easy it is to deal with this guy. So he has a drink on the table, I believe. Maybe when that guy turns around and walks away, we can just run over and poison his drink real fast and then disappear. And go reproduce the other things that we did and... You stop playing, so your biggest fan wanders off, and then you go to the window to have a terse, plot-dense conversation. And then... Oh, he doesn't come over here to drink. He comes over here to look at a thing. Shoot. Um, oh, but he has a drink. Uh, somebody in the doorway is seeing us. Yes, he has I a drink on the piano, though. Again. Edward. I, I know I'm Why can I not interact with this? Messages. There we go. This is the last time, I promise. It's just, uh, I don't know how to handle it. You know, just a nice tall glass of coffee. All right, I'm confident that that will get, that will, that will resolve itself, that situation. Let's just cross over to here and do the things that we like to do over here. Oh, this is going to be a little tricky because we haven't dealt with the people in the hallway yet. And they may they may respond to this. It is likely, in fact, I think, that they will respond to this. It's fine. We'll improvise. I'm starting to get a little worried that that dude's not going to drink that coffee. Because he sure is still alive, isn't he? Man, I really thought for sure that an unseen poison injection counted as an accident kill. Because who's going to check for injection marks in the spine, right? Like, how would you even, how would you even notice such a thing? Huh. 
I guess it's not counting any poisoning as an accident? That's definitely a thing that used to count as an accident at the very least. Well then, how about this? We just bring our gas device in our pocket, we don't smuggle anything, and we just drop a chandelier on everyone. I should bring- that's what I should bring. I should bring a chandelier. A deployable chandelier grenade. You know, accidental poisoning. Because those, po those poison kills definitely don't count against... I'm pretty sure they don't count against Silent Assassin. At least they didn't before. Whatever, it's fine. We'll just, like I said, we'll just chandelier everyone one by one. Some people are not going to be trivial to chandelier, but we, we will figure it out. We may have to, um, may have to improvise a couple of times the way we did uh, on that guy in the first, uh, the first take of the level. It's very inconvenient that the moment we got on, got over here, this guy was as far as he could possibly be from turning around. Downright rude, if you ask me. Alright, I think this is the thing that makes the most sense. Because this puts us right at a couple of chandeliers. We're still going to have to get downstairs to deal with... Gregory? Edward? I've... I've already forgotten which one is which. Listen, all of their names have a very similar vibe. Alright, I'm not taking responsibility for this. Do we want to... Yeah, you know what, let's just do this. Let's just do this this way. Okay, problem solved. Let's hide the bodies this time. I forgot that Alexa comes in here naturally, and I don't really want um, I don't really want things to get unpredictable. Okay, there's blood everywhere. She will not notice that. That part will be fine. I wonder what the third level of this is. I want to drop this guy too. Let's just put ourselves in a position to have as much safety as possible. He's going to break that window. He's going to break that window. Okay. It jump scares me every damn time. Dragging a body, and the, the body collides with anything made out of glass, and then somehow violently hurls itself through the glass. Like a revenant trying to take care of unfinished business. she just walking away from him i think we might have just missed our cycle okay they're gonna have this conversation this is fine we'll be able to handle this oh dear god not this again so i got hold of the officer he said it was finalized but then how can it be withdrawn just wait a few days i'm sure it'll sort itself out It is a real shame that they have him sitting in a position where he survives the chandelier fall. That feels almost like a bug. Not a bug, but you know. It feels, it feels like an error. Oh, right. Also, taking out the guy in the hallway might have been a good idea for the purpose of keeping this predictable. Nope, never mind. Everything's fine. How many bullets do we have? Oh, like a ton. 
I'm going to see if we can just draw him in here with a gunshot. Because a bullet is much more disposable than our delicious can of Dr. Pop. Nope, that does not work. He does not care even a little bit. Yeah, and it doesn't really make sense to draw him anywhere else. I guess the, the smart thing to do would be to put him on that side of the doorway, at least, so that, you know, I don't have to crawl across it while dragging the body. Sounds like someone's living the taste in there. If anyone's there, I... Stay low and follow me, and I'll get us out of here. I don't... Okay. It is not clear to me how that got seen when it had not in the past. Oh god, everybody's running this way. Okay. So nobody seems to know what's up. I'm gonna hide this body real fast. No, I'm not. I'm gonna f press every wrong button. The tiniest bit of pressure's on it. All of a sudden I forget how a keyboard works. Just grab that and then disappear. Again, maybe just being a little bit overcautious here. So we spooked Alexa, but I don't think it's actually going to matter very much. If anything, getting her off of the map for a little while in lockdown mode is probably good for us. Although she is, of course, on the wrong side of the house. I would much prefer she be in lockdown mode over here so that we could go and deal with uh, the guy, excuse me, the guy who we have done a bad job of taking care of so far. I'm a little worried that if we don't take this now, we may not get another super clean opportunity. But we really, really should be doing the ones we're unsure of first. Mr. Patrick, can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually. Could you speed up time so I don't die from boredom? I fear I may not survive an entire weekend in this shithole. Perhaps a brisk walk in the garden would do you good. I said speed up time, not my party. I'll just go away with of course, sir. I'll yeah, you're really disrupting my patrol pattern. Dear Mr. Fursby, I hope to see you soon. Creepy old git. Okay, could you two stop sniping at each other and get back to work? Very well, Mr. Fursby. Make sure you focus on the work. I knew something was up with today, didn't I? Alright, everybody saw what an accident that was. There's no chance that it was actually some kind of hitman. Could not possibly be the case. I have created a situation, though, where it's not, like, very easy for us to go down the stairs that I was was planning to use, though. Uh... Command? Hi there, darling. You read me! Got an accident over here? No, I'm feeling much better now. I've calmed down. Today has Understood. been a and setting up a perimeter. Out. That's okay. I think we're seeing his ghost leave his uh, leave his body here. Sort of an abstract phenomenon. She's really happy. Did you hear? <laughs> as soon as he was dead, she's on on the phone to her friend, like, "Oh no, I feel much better. I was having a crappy day, but things have really turned around." All right, where's he taking that body? Is he going? Okay, he's not going out the door that we want to go out. That said, it's definitely not safe for us to move right now. Mr. Fernsby, you are a huge problem. Make sure you focus on your work. I will. I don't need one more minute of crime. Well, we certainly can't go down the other way. Why does why does this have to be so difficult? I should be able to just 
Well, I wouldn't want to jump down there, I suppose. Even if I could, I probably wouldn't. But I hate walking around. It just feels so mildly inconvenient. Which in many ways is the worst kind of inconvenient. Certainly the most annoying kind of inconvenient. Alright. Go for this dude next and we are actually gonna... It's gonna be a real accident. Real honest-to-goodness accident kill. Does this room have a chandelier? Uh, it has a number of chandeliers, but they're all over the... If we wait for him to come over and look at that piece of paper on the table and we drop the chandelier in the middle, it would probably kill him. That does mean just sitting in the room throughout his entire phone conversation, though, which is pretty not ideal. I forgot to close this door. I don't know if there's another way to do this, really. I mean, if poison doesn't count, you know. Here, let's um, let's actually get inside the room so that we can watch him a little bit more easily. Man, I really co color coordinated my weapons today. You're doing it, Forty Seven. You're finally learning how to dress yourself. This feels like it cannot be the intended way to do this, right? It's so slow. Also, if I drop a chandelier on him from here, I don't know, we're not going to get out of the room before people come in through the doorway, right? I'm going to have to just sit here and wait until the body's dealt with. Wait, does he even come over to the table? Starting to wonder if if I'm imagining a thing. Here's another bummer. If I knock him out, I'm not going to be able to drag him under a chandelier anyway. So actually, getting an accident kill on him is like... It's potentially going to be tricky. Maybe I need to use the emetic, ga uh, the emetic gas on him. And we just we figure out a different method for Rebecca. If he sits back down at that piano, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to start improvising. I don't know what bathroom he would go to either. Honestly, he might go to the bathroom that we killed Rebecca in, because I don't think there is one on this side of the house. All right, go lean over the table for a while. I guess a smart thing to do might have been to bring emetic poison to put in that so that we could get him to go to the bathroom and... Yeah, maybe. This'll totally do it, though. God, I hope this'll totally do it. I'm going. Perhaps unwisely. Wow, they don't react to that at all, do they? Remarkably cold-blooded. Oh, who's that asshole? What is his deal? Since when does that? Oh, that's the button guy. Okay. There's no door here, is there? Yeah. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Alright. Did I get her? Oh no, I missed! Shoot. Did he get the maid? No, it did not. It didn't. I, I didn't successfully gas anyone. Well, that's gonna cause a problem. Uh. Because now we are going to have to get rid of that maid. Did she go and tell a guard about the. Yeah. She went and told a guard about the noise she heard. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of that maid now so that we can sneak into the room behind her and engineer a new catastrophe. Well, I think we can do that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Really 
check that out. Go have a look, see, please. Right, Wait, really? How does that make sense? Oh, that's friends me. Okay, new plan. Uh. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Everyone will believe this was an accident. Those don't work that way. Shit, fuck. Okay, uh, new plan. 47, get the gun out. What? <laughs> he put... He put the gun away of his own recognizance. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get this right off camera. Because the episode's getting pretty long. I'll be right back. Okay. I think I've done it. I got I got all the I got the other four kills in the same way as we did last run, and this time I just didn't miss with the gas mine. So here she comes. Far too busy to even notice. Santa Claus crouching in the corner. Alright, there we go. That took forever. Should not have been that difficult. It turns out maybe sometimes video games are hard. Maybe. Alright, how the hell do we get out of here? Also, give me this. Yeah, what's going to be the best? What is what is this exit over here? Because this isn't the front door. Is this an exit we've not used before? I mean, if so, that's certainly worth doing. Can we get out of the house on this side, though? Oh, I didn't. Somehow, I snuck through this without closing that door. Um, Is there a window in this room that I can jump out of? Obviously, the room itself is a little bit safer than it used to be, what with what's-his-name gone. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's hope that this works. I mean, listen, I'm willing to do some pretty extreme stuff to make it at this point. If I have to shoot a thousand members of the house staff, I will do it. Oh, it's just a little footbridge. You just walk across the footbridge and disappear into the night. Disappear into the, the midday. Hmm? Damn it, that's that's more toward me, not less. Hang back. Okay, thanks. Nope, that works. He turned his back. That's all I needed. I'm like eight feet from the house, and as this camera angle notes, 100% still visible. Also bright red. Whatever, it's fine. We escaped. And you know what? And that's a challenge. It's all it's all XP. It, it all counts. All right, let's try to maybe do a less embarrassing job here on part three. Got ourselves another vial of sedative poison, in case we need to bring a third one to a mission. When you eliminate your first target, you must eliminate another within 60 seconds. Oh no. There's so much sitting and waiting in the in the strategy as we executed it. Oh, okay. This is going to be a problem. Um... How do we do this? I guess Edward's got to be first. Right, because he just, he will dick around in that room and do nothing for an incredibly long time. I mean, 60 seconds is kind of a long time, but it means we don't get prep at all on anyone. We just have to, like... We have to deal with the fact that there are going to be people alive in all the places. Unless I want to do all of my prep work first. Before we kill anyone. Because we are going to need to move pretty fast. Yeah, okay. I think that's the real answer. We gotta, um... We gotta knock out a couple of people... 
early on. So let's see. This is the wrong side of the house, right? Uh, but it gets us to the right side of the house quickly enough. This this will be fine. So we'll climb up the drain pipe over here as soon as this guy's doing nothing in the other direction instead of doing nothing in this direction. Yeah, we'll climb up here. We'll drop the people that we drop on the top floor. Get downstairs. I'm a little worried that, like, there's no... There's no way to do this. There's no order of targets which will work with the way we've been killing them. There must be a way to get everyone together or something. I don't know how to how to provoke the big family meeting if I'm not the investigator though. Junior calling from Alright, uh, we don't necessarily need to hide these bodies because I think we're gonna be planning to move pretty quickly, but why not be safe? Why not put ourselves in a position where we're less likely to have to do the whole mission again, right? It's actually really hard to move this. I can't... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I can't get prompts on this body. Um, We'll just push him out of the chair? Get, get over there. Is that good enough? That was good enough, okay. Well, this... Sir? Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to cooperate just a little bit. Okay. Well, 47 has turned his bones to jello. That's gonna look real weird on the autopsy. They're definitely gonna know it was me. Where's that guy's gun? Okay. So we don't actually have to worry about... This guy... But I do definitely want to take out the two people who are constantly flirting up here. And if I'm going to do that, I may as well drop this guy as well, right? I wonder if I throw something... Well, I don't have anything I can throw that won't be wasted. If he decides not to turn around, though. And if we're just going to drag them out to the balcony, we don't even have to take out this guy. Right, that time she was a little a little slower on the uptake, which I appreciate. Makes my life easier. May as well grab a brick. Oh, 47, grab her. Ooh, we're gonna be a little close on that uh that other guard walking up. Okay, we're clear, we're fine. Everything's good. Okay, nothing incriminating here at all. We are definitely still going to drop this guy, though. Basically just trying to make sure that this is an area that I can run through at top speed, should I need to do so, because I suspect I will need to do so. And obviously all of these could have been, you know, punching people out. There's no no reason in particular that we must be killing here. Okay, so I think we're all set up now. I'm pretty sure we take Edward first. Man, I'm 60 seconds is rough. Oh, they're walking through here right now. Nope, sorry, they're stopping and waiting in front of me right now. I sort of want to just shoot them both. I wouldn't know, I'm afraid. If that is all, sir. Please do come and find me when you feel ready to inspect the crime scene. 
Just one question. Is that burned leather? I can smell on you. Unusual for a butler to burn leather. I don't. I, I don't know what you. What you. Seeds, Mr. Burnsby. Seeds. He was burning leather seeds. Seems like that guy's actually a pretty good detective. I mean, you know, goodish. That okay? Wow. Well. I was so distracted by the detective that I didn't even notice that guy enter the room. That could have been really bad. Okay, remember to close this. And here we go. And by here we go, of course, I mean, let's wait 20 seconds and then here we go. I mean, he's at the part of his routine where he's drinking, so that's good, right? Because then he comes over to the table. Yeah. He just walked away. That's not... You're not allowed to do that. Well, shit. Uh... Shit. There's not another chandelier over here, is there? No. Uh... How did he not notice that falling? Okay. We need to engineer a new kind of problem for him. Is there rat poison around here? What am I doing? That's probably, like, a bad idea. That guy's actually really inconvenient. I'm just gonna go for it. There's gotta be rat poison around here somewhere, right? In the kitchen, maybe? Because we could... We could emetic poison his drink, and then... Did I, uh, by any chance, think to bring a med... No, I didn't. I didn't change up my loadout at all, I don't think. Well, shit. I don't see any. Yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. Uh, in here? This is the kind of place we might see some. Nope. No such luck. Okay. Do I still have the taser? All right. This is dumb. This is a dumb, bad idea. Alright. I have a plan. It's a shame that there's no way that we could just leave him there. Because that would be the really good way to do this, right? Is figure out a way to just leave him in a position where we can remotely trigger his, uh, his quote-unquote accidental death at a moment's notice. You Shit. Rather than by words and I wasn't gestures. expecting there to be a guy right there watching him. Like I cannot believe... Right. I clearly remember when I was five. I. You reckon? Climbed a tree and could not make my way. Nope. And it it had basically no effect. Okay. Well, shit. Well, nothing, I guess. Man can see me clean through a piano. What? We might need to clear out the guards in the hallway. It would probably be faster just to restart the mission. Hmm. Although... I guess this is a... This is a plan? Plan's a strong word. I guess this is a thing that's currently happening. What am I going to do with you? Because I kind of want to take out the guys in that hallway. Because otherwise... Yeah, otherwise we're never going to be able to leave this where I want to leave it. Somebody's going to find him and it's going to become a whole thing. Alright. Do not stash body. Very important that we do not stash body. So... We kill these two. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's the new plan. It's a little bit like the old plan. Not, you know, hugely, like the old plan, but a little bit. I hope that, um, I hope that the sound of the vacuum can draw the other guy. I'm not actually 100% sure that it can. Okay, we're gonna have to help him out a little bit. What do I not mind losing? Uh, we don't actually need the screwdriver. Forty-seven actually being covered. There we go. This right here is what flawless strategy looks like. That's it. Oh. You also get shot. He didn't sound surprised at all. 47's arm closed around him. He just went, ah, Darn it. Murdered again. Okay, is it safe to leave Edward Carlyle right here in the open? Fuck if I know. And then we gently place our micro taser right here. And now we can hit that at a moment's notice if he gets seen or when we're having time problems. All right, so let's figure the rest of this out. So we actually probably want to do her next, ideally. Right, and then we can just run around and hit chandeliers and it should be easy. We've got the setup. Unfortunately, this is gonna rely on me actually hitting the, um, the mine throw. And also you cannot save in a, in a uh, what do you call it? In a escalation, so. One chance. That I feel like is the one room of the house that I know the least. Like, I don't. I don't think we 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 were briefly in there trying to get a thing accomplished and we failed miserably. It's got like a birdcage in it, right? So unfortunately, I don't know if there are really any opportunities in there. Oh my god, please hurry. I hate being in this hallway. I am so unprepared for anybody to come in any door. Okay. This is basically the best we could hope for. It bounced off of the fucking... Okay. There's a chandelier in this hallway. I guess this is the thing to do. Yeah, this is this is the only way this is going to work. I should have been doing this from the beginning, probably, but like, you know, playing with my new toys. All right, so we got to let that guard come in and leave. Got to stay clear of the investigator. Got to not get spotted by the maid. Got to hope hopefully not kill the maid. She doesn't deserve that. Okay, here we go. Here comes our our opportunity. Shit. Of course, at exactly this moment, that asshole comes into this room. Oh, God. And it's not safe to be crouched right here. Fernsby, you are killing me. Very well, Mr. Fernsby. Make sure you focus on your work. I will. I don't need one more maid. Oh, what is that guy doing? Don't worry about me. Yeah, friends me entering the room at exactly that moment, I think, has ruined everything. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe we have time. Shit. Very close. Also, extremely appropriate chime from the clock there. 
Uh, can that target eliminated thing get off the screen so that I can see the remaining timer? That's insane that it can cover up the timer for 10 full seconds. Whose design decision was that? Now remember, if it gets down to if it gets down real close, we have the ability to um, to zap Edward, which we may have to do. It looks like Emma's gonna take her sweet time here. Electricity and water is definitely definitely an accident thing. Okay, no, this is this is gonna work. Maybe it's gonna work. I'm gonna just in case. Reset our timer here. Walk about. I'm glad I did. Is she not gonna do what is she doing? Why isn't she doing her route? Oh no. Is the investigator ruining everything right now? No, we're cool, we're cool. But yeah, if we hadn't had that uh that taser set up, we would have died here. Come on, start talking to him. Walk over and start talking to him. Shit. Is she gonna walk under that naturally? We might have to... Yeah. Fuck. Her just not doing her route for no reason at all, I think, has probably killed us. Okay. Let's get on it. That's so weird. She walked right over to the place where she's supposed to start doing the thing. And then just sat there and looked at her phone and then didn't do the thing she's supposed to do. Uh, we're not going to get there. Yeah, that fucking sucks. We we lost the mission for no reason, despite having done all of the things we were supposed to do there. Just NPCs not following their roots. This is um this is a bad complication. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to make you watch me set it back up. I could definitely set it back up, but here's the thing we're going to do right at the front of this. Okay. I think that's going to make things a little bit easier. I have no... Con we'll lose them. I have no concern about that. Okay. Back in a second. Okay. Let's try this again without the interference of the investigator. I'm pretty sure... It was the investigator's presence in the room that broke Emma's scripting last time. So with him not around, hopefully we can just do this whole thing. Wouldn't that be lovely? Alright, there's one. Go real fast. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. That could have been bad. What is he doing? He's coming up the stairs. What is he doing? Why doesn't he have any respect for the rules of the damn video game? All right, we have the we have the taser thing stored up. We can just we can just reset the timer once. I think we're gonna have to. Let's see if he if he tries to walk back to the chair. Oh my God, he walks downstairs more slowly than any human being in history. Yep, okay. We're gonna have to do the reset. That's fine. That's why we have it. Wait as long as possible. Really? He's gonna flirt with her right now? This is very annoying. Okay, here we go. I don't know if he's actually walking underneath it. He sure did. I thought for a second I'd miss the shot at first, so that would have been not ideal. Alright, I just need you two to come together. Oh, I think she's going for him right now. 
And without the investigator here to break things, hopefully this will just go really smoothly. Perfect. There it is. We got it. Uh, this, yeah, the the timed thing combined with the accidents where you just have to like all of the all of the stuff has to line up and you have somewhat limited control over whether or not it will is bad. I do not like this the final stage of this escalation. So that's not a viable exit. I mean, we could just go out the front. Is it reasonable for me to use these stairs right now? It is not. I'm a little concerned uh, that all of the outdoor routes may be awkward. Right, we can get out this window. This might work. Yeah, okay. Now I just have to figure out how to escape from the garden. Uh, can I climb over this? Yeah, here we go. That'll be the smart way to do that. So there's a lot of exits around here that aren't actually exits. Where's the nearest one I can actually use? Ugh, they're both super far away. Okay, it's fine. Oh. Okay. I'll say this. The, uh, the difficulty here, combined with the fact that I can't save, sure does create some tension. What? It's really inconvenient that those guys turned in the same direction that we were moving. But I think... Yeah, we properly lost them now. They'll be looking in that bush over there. It definitely helps that we spent so much time creeping around here doing the other escalation. I feel so much more comfortable just moving around the space now. And that's like completely the magic of the game, right? This is this is what Hitman is. You tase a guy to death in a pool of mop water in a way that looks like an accident to everyone. And then you just crouch walk, crouch walk for 90 seconds. Huh. That's the, that's the private investigator. Apparently, that's where they felt it was respectful to leave him. Alright, well, that took forever, but we got there. And we managed to even... We even figured out a plan that had a little bit of insurance built into it, which was good and 100% necessary. And the next time we come back here, we can... Uh, we can just fiber wire Alexa and finish off that uh, that set of assassination challenges for a whole bunch of XP. I don't remember if there's anything on this level that's terribly important, but, you know, the mastery levels. They are their own reward. Zero stars. What, just because I killed like 40 people? Ridiculous. All right. Well, I do believe that that is where we are going to call it for today. Boy, that's not how that's supposed to look when it's loading in. We got there eventually. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, come back next time, tomorrow, when I've had enough of England, we're going back to the beach. F uh, absence really does make the heart grow fonder. And we'll see you then.